Market share is basically the total value size of a certain asset or even an asset class. As we discussed earlier, different types of asset classes, let's try to take examples from them to understand this in depth and thereon compare it with cryptocurrency as a market. The stock market is filled with individuals who know the price of everything and the value of nothing. That's a very famous quote by Philip Fisher. Late Philip Arthur Fisher was an American investor whose investment guides have been in print since the 1960s. I love the idea by him that most individuals don't know the value of things but know the price of it. Market share is basically the total value size of a certain asset or even an asset class. As we discussed earlier, different types of asset classes, let's try to take examples from them to understand this in depth and thereon compare it with cryptocurrency as a market. Looking at market share in the stock or equity market, let me take an example with one of my favorite stocks, Tesla. TSLA or Tesla, which is listed on NASDAQ, is trading somewhere around $850 as of today. When it launched, it had a share price of a mere $41. Its market capitalization today stands somewhere around $800 billion. Let's compare this to the total market cap of NASDAQ, which is also a traded stock. Because, after all, NASDAQ is a financial services company operating in form of an exchange. It basically owns and operates the complete NASDAQ stock exchange. It has a market cap of $23 billion today. Whereas, the total value of the US stock market is 50 trillion US dollars as on 31st December 2020. So that is the total value of all the publicly traded companies in the US market alone. Around 65% of this market share is held amongst just the top 500 companies. That show gives you a perspective on how to look at market share. Now you must understand that we look at market capitalization of different stocks to understand the concept of market share. But how do we come up with market capitalization? It's rather simple. There are around a billion outstanding shares of Tesla that are priced at around 150 US dollars. Multiplying the price with outstanding shares brings you to the total market capitalization for Tesla. Now let's look at how big the gold market is. It should be easy to answer this question, right? After all, the gold market is just a market for gold. And we all know that the gold inventory, understood as the total above ground stock of physical gold, is estimated to be somewhere around 190,000 tons. The current price of gold per ounce is near about $2,000. And when you calculate the price with quantity, you come around a conclusion that the market capital of gold should be somewhere around $10 trillion. The global forex trading market is worth around 1.934 quadrillion US dollars. That's the number this big. Put another way, this is around 2.5 times larger than the global GDP. 5.3 trillion US dollar worth of currencies are traded daily in forex exchange market. If you spend $1 every second around the clock, it would take you 31,688 years to spend a trillion dollars. Therefore, to spend 5.3 trillion, the daily volume which is of the forex market, you would actually take 128,000 years or so. The forex market is 12 times larger than the futures market and 27 times larger than the equities or stock market. And forex is the only market with, along with uh, cryptocurrencies that runs for 24 hours round the clock, similar to, like I said, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. The value of outstanding bonds currently is at 128 trillion US dollars. The bond market is a financial market where participants can issue new debt known as the primary market or they can even buy and sell debt uh, as securities known as the secondary market. This is usually in the form of bonds but it may include notes, bills and so on. Its primary goal is to provide long-term funding for public and private expenditures. The bond market has largely been dominated by the United States, which accounts for about 40% or so of the total market. 
The details that I just shared now regarding other markets would give you a better understanding when we dive deeper into the cryptocurrencies market. And what is the market share amongst different cryptocurrencies? Let's put things into perspective and compare the market share of other assets to cryptocurrencies. Whereas on the other hand, the total market capital of cryptocurrencies is near about a trillion dollars. The cryptocurrency market is Bitcoin dominant. After all, Bitcoin is the strongest use case of cryptocurrencies and the best proof of concept of blockchain till date. Bitcoin dominates the market with a 60 to 70 percent dominance most of the times. Currently at 65 percent with a market capital of around 670 billion US dollars. And Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap just after uh, Bitcoin at around 140 billion US dollars. The rest of the cryptocurrencies combined have a total market capital of more than 150 billion US dollars. That includes stablecoins, all the Ethereum based tokens and other blockchain projects with a native cryptocurrency. The market insight shows that cryptocurrencies are still at their initial stages and will only move upwards from here as more and more people welcome and adopt the technology. So let's recap what we have learned in this segment. Although cryptocurrencies are a relatively new financial instrument and technological innovation, their usage has seen a considerable increase since the inception of Bitcoin in 2009. It has experienced tremendous growth in the past six years in terms of market capitalization. And although today cryptocurrencies have a very small market cap as compared to other assets, the good news is that they are continuously moving towards an upward trajectory.